Travel consideration provided by Copa Airlines, the fastest way to connect to the Americas. I am with the first lady of flavor here in Panama. This is Kukita. And she is big when it comes to food. Kukita, I understand that you have prepared for us a fabulous smattering of Panamanian flavors. So tell me, what do we have over okay. here? We're going to start with a tuna tartar mm -hmm. in a plantain chip, very Panamanian. And the plantain is the Panamanian part, right? And the tuna too. Oh, because it it's, comes from the Pacific. Yeah, yellow, yellow thin tuna, fresh. Okay. This is a uh, green plantain wonton mm -hmm. filled with um, chorizo. Okay. This is a crocodile, crocodile, sweet and sour, delicious, very Panamanian. Hold on a second. I'm gonna oh, you have, have to, to taste this. I've never had crocodile, so I'm, wait a minute, I'm forking, whoop, hold on. It's okay. It went off the plate. Here we go, I'm going for it. Mm. Oh, those it taste? It tastes a little gingery, it okay. tastes uh, like chicken, and it tastes like lobster, as you were saying. Oh, that's a beautiful mixture. Mm. Crocodile. We will we would never eat this in the United States. No. Well you have to come to Panama for this. Exactly. <laughs> okay, what do we have next up? This is a Panamanian tortilla. Okay. With uh, black beans and feta cheese. Alright. These are Panamanian shrimps with a cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. Fry ceviche here. And then a very special recipe. It's lobster with wasabi and condensed milk. Panamanian love sweet and sour, so I put condensed milk in the wasabi, and it's a delicious mixture. Can I try it? Do yeah. I eat the whole thing? Oh, I'm, yes. I'm going for it. Mm. Oh, I can taste the wasabi. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's an explosion of flavor, but I think the, the condensed milk dulls it just a little bit, so it's just not as pungent. Exactly. That's, mm. You got it. This is delicious. What do we have up next? This is a Panamanian sushi with plantain, mm -hmm. sweet plantain. And this is a fresh seared tuna with wasabi too. I love wasabi and the mixture of Panamanian food and wasabi, it's nice. And this is a carimagnola. It's a, it's a, a manchego cheese carimagnola. May I? I'm going to have sure. it. When I and think of carimagnolas, I think of um, La Costa in Colombia as well mm -hmm. because they, they serve this. Here we go. Oh, so nice. Delicious. And it has a, 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 a spicy sauce on top. Now, I see, you told me the flowers are edible too? Edible. Panamanian edible flowers. You need everything here. <laughs> okay, and what do we have here on the end? Here it's a mushroom carpaccio mm -hmm. on top of a crackling rice. And it's delicious, the mixture of something that is really crackling and then the mushroom. You can taste this. You want to try it? Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's crunchy? Yeah. And it's very pungent. What great flavor. Delicious. Now, Kukita, you were telling me that there's a tremendous amount of Asian influence here in Panama. Right. And that you love Chinese food. For example, dim sum. Tell me about dim this sum. dish over here. This is a dim sum is a typical breakfast, uh, Chinese breakfast. Mm -hmm. But here at the Bristol, we give them a little um, twist mm -hmm. and make it like an hors d'oeuvre. And it has different things inside. They have lobster and they have uh, chicken and there is uh, vegetables and it's it you put it mm -hmm. there a little soy sauce mm -hmm. okay i'm going for it mm. that's pork and cream delicious that's good you know you could get filled up eating these hors d'oeuvres all day yeah that's the idea eat a little bit and then fill Full. Do Panamanians eat lots of food? Because I see this is all nibble, but this is very typically Panamanian, right? Panamanians like to nibble or Panamanians, Panamanians like to Panamanians love to um, uh, party. So this is a way to party. Way if you eat too much at the same time, then you don't party anymore. Okay. So that's the idea. Finally, we have a main course over here. This looks really interesting. You have coconut filled with like a seafood mixture. Is this? It's a uh, uh, coconut paella, mm -hmm. very typical from the Caribbean side in Panama. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, a scobish that it's, um, it's like fried calamari. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, re avocado relish. Okay. And the, the idea is to mix all the flavors. And then Panamanian love to have sweet things with the food. So there is a piece of um, a roll of 
um, roll plantain mm -hmm. with a sweet sauce. I guess what a fabulous way to finish our culinary tour than with something sweet. So, uh, mm. delicious. I'm so glad you liked it. I liked it. Me gusta. Me gusta mucho. Now, as we said, Cuquita is the Martha Stewart of Panama, and you have, um, excuse me for speaking with my mouth full, <laughs> you are a star gourmet with your cookbooks. You have a new cookbook coming out soon, correct? Yes, I have already three cookbooks, and now I'm working in a new one that is called Panama Chombo Style, mm -hmm. and it's the food of the Caribbean side of Panama. And Chombo is, is how you would refer to the, uh, the Afro influence. Exactly. Okay. Very strong in Panama, especially in the Panamanian cuisine. And you also have a funny name, Cuquita. Because yeah. when I first found out we were going to interview Cuquita for this, I said, oh. <laughs> But you don't look at all like I thought a Cuquita would look. And you were telling me it's an endearing nickname from Cuba. Yes, it's very typical. My mother was, was Cuban and she was, everybody called her Cuca. So when I was born, they called Cuquita. They called me Cuquita. Well, Cuquita, you... Cook it up great, and congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing with us this taste of Panama. If you'd like to find out more, you can visit Cuquita's website. What is your website again? Al estilo Cuquita. Ah, Al the estilo style of Cuquita. Cuquita. Exactly. Cuquita Punto. style. Punto com. Exactly. Because it's like an orgasm of flavors in your mouth when you eat it. All right, that'll do it today from the Bristol Hotel in Panama City. Along with the lovely Cuquita, I'm Brian Andrews. Thanks for watching.